Hey guys, it's your girl Sally and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and please leave a comment guys. Let me know what you think about this video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I create a broker account. For those who are interested in trading Forex, this is going to be the first thing you want to do. So I'm going to make it really simple and short for you guys today. So let's get right into it. Okay, so now we are on the Hugo's Way main page. And uh, you just type in hugosway.com and it will take you here. Now to the top right hand corner, there is a button saying sign up. You're going to click on that. Okay, so I'm going to use this other email address that I have. Let me just put in a password real quick. Alright, so now you see where it's telling you that they sent um, an email verification to your email address. So you're just going to check for that and then it will prompt you how to sign it. You're just going to go into your email address and find the email that they sent you. Oh, come on. Not the time. And then you're going to just click complete sign up. And then it's going to just ask you for some general information. Okay, now you are in. So see, it's, prompt, it's gonna prompt you to set up, enable a two-factor authentication. You're just gonna click on that. And down here, it's gonna say, you just read through this, but basically it's gonna say enable with the authenticator app. You're going to just, you download the Google authenticator app you're going to download it and scan this barcode right here. And then it's going to give you a six digit code. Once you um, enter that six digit code right here, then hit submit, then the authentication will be set up for you. Okay, so now we completed the two factor authentication so now whenever you log into this account or whenever you log into your account it is going to prompt you to put in the six digit code now this is always going to be like that you just drop a one in front of the number and click update or verify yeah i already have this number on my hugo's way account so it's not going to let me use that number so then we're going to go over to KYC verification, click on that, and then select your country, of course. Oh, come on. Really? That's how you're going to act? There you go, Mr. Stupid. Okay. So now it's going to say you have two options. You can use your phone camera to scan this barcode or you can click on the link below. Now. 
is going to tell you to upload either a passport, a driver's license, or identity card. And as I'm not going to do this part because I don't want two accounts. I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video. But once you do this and you go on the next step, it's going to ask you to upload a um a bank statement for proof of address. Okay, so I'm going to show you from my account that is already created how you would go about the um the deposit method, right? So you want to click on deposit, you want to click on your US wallet, and you want to click credit or debit via Instacoins. You put the amount that you want to deposit, so say $50, and then you hit redirect me. Now it's going to redirect you to the um, Instacoins page, and it will look like this. It will already have your name, email address, your la um, telephone number and it will say create a password and confirm now i already have a, a instacoins account so i'm just gonna log in just to show you guys and once you create all of that that it was just asking for it will take you to this page this is exactly how it's going to look now you're going to just click this to agree and hit pay now and after you do that is going to take you to this page now you're just going to fill out your card information and hit pay securely um uh, please bear in mind that it depends on um two things your bank your bank might block this trans transaction or it might tell you to upload your um it might tell you to upload some documents to instacoins before you are able to co continue with the transaction so what you want to do is hit that button to come back and then you can click on your name right here and then click on my account when you do that it's going to say add a new credit card you can just take a picture of the front and back of the credit card and you see how they tell you to block out these digits and block out that you can go ahead and do that on the on the picture and then you upload it and submit it it's going it, it will normally take like 15 minutes or so for it to be verified and once that's verified then you can go back on hugo's way when you finish paying on instacoins it will say awaiting confirmation and when it's final when everything is done it will say approved once it's approved, you want to come over here to my accounts right here. You want to click on my account and you want to click create account. Right. And then you're going to select the type of account that you want. Now you want a live account. So you're going to create Hugo's MT4 ECN. You're going to select the currency, your US currency and the leverage. I usually go with one to 500 and hit create account. Now, when you create the account, I'm not going to, of course, when you create the account, it will send an email to it will send an email to your email address, which will have your account login info. Let me just go in my email and see if I can show you guys what it will look like. So this is what it will look like. It will say, hi, hi, Salima, you have successfully registered for MT4 Live account. And down here, it will give you the um, login information for the Hugo's way. So this is what for the MT4, I'm sorry. So when you go on MetaTrader 4, this is the information that you're going to use. This no. When you, when you create the live account, um, bear in mind that once the funds are approved, you're going to see it right here. It's going to say how, if, if you did $50, it's going to say $50 right there. So you still have the $50 on 
Hugo's way, but you need it on MT4 so you can start trading. So what you're going to do is go on internal transfer right here. You're going to click on internal transfer. You're going to select wallet to MT4 because this is your wallet. You see that little wallet thing right there. So you're going to select select transfer wallet to MetaTrader 4. You're going to select your US account and then you're going to select the account that you want to send it to. And then you're going to put the amount that you want to send. So you're going to put the $50, of course. And then you're going to hit request transfer, right? So after you request that transfer, it's going to take like a, f a few minutes. And then the funds will be available in Before you your withdraw, account. You will, have to, um, you will have to transfer the money back from the MT4 and put it on your wallet, right? So... From MT4 to wallet, you're going to select, in case you have two live accounts, it will tell you to select the one that you want to take it from. You're going to select US, and if you want to take $50 out of that money, you, you put the $50 and hit request. Of course, I'm not trying to do that, but anyway. Then, after you send the money back to your wallet, you should see it up here. And then you're going to go on withdraw, select the account. And for the for this, you can only withdraw in Bitcoin. So I might do another video showing you how to set up a Bitcoin wallet. Um, and I might just show you how to do that on your Cash App or on Coinbase. All right. So you're going to um, hit Bitcoin, hit the amount that you want, and then you're going to paste the Bitcoin address here that you want to send it to. So say I wanted to take off 50 bucks, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna paste my Bitcoin wallet right here. I do have a Bitcoin wallet address, but I'm not trying to do that either. So after you do that, you're going to hit request and it will send you an email and say, hey, you started this and we let you know how far the transaction is, blah, 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 blah. And you usually get it within three to five business days. Okay, so guys, that is how you create a Hugo's Way broker account, live account, how you fund it and how you take money from it. Let me know in the comment section if you found this video informative and if you would like to see how i create the bitcoin wallet as well